Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Friday. Oh, yes, we made it to the end of another week. A beautiful morning. Yes, this is a day that the Lord has made, and we're rejoicing, and we're glad in it. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's funny how the Lord just kind of... Uh, brings things together when you're studying his word. Um, this morning, of course, I had my prayer time as I usually do. And I read my daily bread and it was telling a story about David. Now I'm not going to share this particular um, daily bread passage because there was a verse <laughs> that stood out they just mentioned it briefly but as i was thinking about it and as i was going through some things and then i was trying to find a, a image um for this verse in my facebook story and this picture came up of all these beautiful flowers and then that led to another thought <laughs> Well, let me tell you what it is. My gym nugget for today, on this Friday, thank the Lord for lifting your head. Thank the Lord for lifting your head. Like I said, one thing led to another this morning in my thoughts and what I was going to share with you. So when I ran across this picture that went with Psalm three three um it just triggered um uh, some other thoughts well psalm three three a psalm of david the psalm says or the verse says thou o lord are a shield for me my glory the lifter of my head david wrote this psalm in the middle of being pursued by his own son, Absalom. Absalom was out to kill his own father and to become king. And, you know, um, you wouldn't think your own son would go against you. And some of who David thought was his trusted advisors, they turned against David and his own son was out to kill him. And, you know, David was on the run from his own son. And David just gave it over to the Lord because in one point, you know, his, his, his trusted people uh, was saying, you know, we need to take the Ark of the Covenant and do this and you need to get out of here. And, and David said that, but he said, whatever happens, Whatever happens, let God do what he's going to do. You know, David gave it all over to the Lord. And, but you know, in the midst of everything, David was always a praiser. David was always a praiser. In the midst of everything that he, he went through, there was always a praise, even if it came down to encouraging himself. You know, it was a story. His men got mad with him because um, when they went to a battle and came back, all of the uh, families and children was gone, and his own men was getting ready to turn. But he said he encouraged himself in the Lord. But this particular story with his son Absalom, well, to make a long story short, um, Absalom had beautiful long hair and as he was riding through his hair got tangled up in a tree and the, he, he couldn't get out of the tree and one of David's trusted men came by and finished him off and killed him. But anyway, you don't mess with the Lord because the battle is not yours anyway. It's the Lord. But this picture that I found was a picture of... Um, these beautiful flowers on this field and it reminded me of the news lately I don't know if you've seen it 
Um, they have shown some areas of California, um, I think Arizona, where all of a sudden these beautiful flowers have burst and bloomed. Orange flowers in one place, another place purple flowers. But these were places where there had been a lot of fires, there had been a lot of floods, and all of a sudden, these flowers have this burst in bloom. This have come up in the midst of all the, the terrible things that have happened. And that's what he does for us. I thank the Lord for lifting my head in the midst of everything that has gone on. So you need to thank the Lord for lifting your head because he's been a shield. Like David said, thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. My glory, the lifter of my head. And you got to thank him. Like Byron K said, thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Good morning. Thank you for lifting my head. Oh, my God. You're on this Friday. You need to thank God for being your shield. That's like David said. That's why I got to give him the glory. He's a keeper. And in the midst, you know, you can come up and um, you can come out like pure gold. You can burst out and bloom like those flowers that I was talking about that have suddenly just come out of the ground. Lord, thank you for lifting our heads. Oh my goodness. I hope y'all have a great weekend. Enjoy this weekend. Enjoy this weekend. Continue to thank him for lifting you out uh, of all the things that may have wanted to take you out. But thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. I don't know about you. I'm just going to thank him for lifting my head. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Well, it's going to be another beautiful weekend. And you know, we celebrated Resurrection Sunday on last Sunday. But the celebration is not over. Every Sunday is a day of celebration. Come and continue the celebration at Grace and Twine Ministries. This Sunday, 3923, um, Deep Creek Boulevard in the city of Portsmouth. The celebration continues. Oh my goodness. We love to see you. 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, not 11 o'clock. <laughs> Pastor was making a uh, emphasis on that last night on uh, Life Study. You know, we're so used to that time, 11 o'clock. But 10 o'clock, our services are 10 o'clock. We've had people come at 11 and 12, and our service is about over. <laughs> so, amen. But we thank you um, for listening. Thank you for joining me on the track, your comments, and everything. If you miss Life Study uh, last night with Pastor Jen, Go back and check it out because we were still, he was still talking about the, what happened at the resurrection and still is happening right now in 2023. Oh my goodness, the celebration still continues because when he got up, we got up. He's still resurrecting us. Oh my God, that was a good lesson last night. But um, anyway... Thank the Lord for lifting your head. Have a great weekend.